Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old jerk road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast, special festival concert series edition. Today we were Susie. She's with Downtown Frankfurt. They have the Downtown Frankfurt summer concert series every year. Susie, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's my birthday today. So I'm, oh, well, I'm we gotta, so wait, 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 hold on. Celebrating with you. <laughs> hold on. Don't, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Normally, I have a special sombrero for you to wear for this moment, but we don't have a sombrero, but we do have a guitar. So oh, we're going to sing yay. happy birthday to Susie today. Oh, happy I love it. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susie. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yay. You've made my Nobody day. I would have known that. You told me on yourself. That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Susie, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and your career. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I am from Frankfort, Kentucky. So born and raised right here in Frankfort. Um, I uh, went to Franklin County High School, Kentucky State University. Uh, background is in fine arts, believe it or not. Um, but, you know, not a lot of um, jobs in painting. <laughs> Um, so, um, I actually have been working with the Frankfurt Area Chamber of Commerce for the last 16 years and just took this position. I'm four months in at, as the executive director for Downtown Frankfurt, Inc. And, uh, my husband's also from Frankfurt and we've got a seven-year-old son and a cat and a dog. So it's the American dream right there. Wow. All right. <laughs> That's us true. Very, very cool. Um, okay, let's jump in. Let's jump into the concert series. Uh, let's talk about the when and the where's. Okay, yes. And I'll do my best because when I started my job, um, I started right in the middle of the concert series. I started in late July. So um, we have, we do a series of six concerts that starts in the beginning of the summer and usually ends in about mid-August. This year, we're looking at it's on a, a Friday night is when we do our concert. It's every other Friday. And we haven't quite officially set the dates, but we're looking at that last Friday in um, in May, um, which would be May 31st to start it out. And then every other Friday until about the second Friday in August. So ending either August 9th or August 16th. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So three questions that help our, our listener fully okay. encompass what you have going on there in Frankfurt. Uh, what does it look like? What does it smell like? Meaning food, scents in the air. Mm -hmm. And three, what does it sound like? We'll talk about the specific types of music you have. Let's go back to question number one. What does it look like? Look, what does it look like? So it takes place right in the heart of our downtown, um, which is the, I feel like the soul, the essence of, of our city. Um, we are the capital city of Frankfurt. So on Broadway Street, we have a huge historic lawn um, of the old state capitol grounds. And so we have a big stage that faces the lawn and right across mm. are all the businesses on Broadway Street. So it's a very historic, charming concert series um, celebrating the downtown businesses as well. Okay. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are people yeah. going to bring their own chairs? Do they bring their own picnic baskets and coolers? How does that part work? Yes, absolutely. So we get probably um, a few thousand people that come down the, every other Friday. It's a huge <laughs> community event. Um, and they do bring, they bring their lawn chairs, their blankets, their picnic baskets. Um, and then, of course, all of the downtown businesses are set up out front or there's patio seating along our um, St. Clair Street that runs right across from where the lawn's at. So, um, yeah, it's just a big old picnic on the lawn. Okay. All right. Very good. Now let's talk about foods. Do you guys offer okay. food? That's important to listeners. 
It is. You're absolutely right. So we have a good variety of downtown businesses that are set up and they're ready to have quick access to food, whether you want to dine out on the patio or you want to grab a hot dog or a burger. And then we'll usually have a couple of food trucks that are set up as well um, that are offering foods that don't, you know, directly compete with the restaurants that are set up. So there's a good variety. We always want to make sure we have a good variety of food. So usually you're, you are smelling smelling some barbecue and some brats. We have a really delicious Mexican restaurant too that's right there that does a big patio seating that where you can watch. And then Serafini's, that's more of a high dining restaurant, Italian restaurant, and that's also right there. So Marvelous. lots to choose from. And ice cream. We have Hoggy's ice cream. So that's usually Ooh. a huge line to get some yummy ice cream. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, let's talk about the music. What styles of okay. music do you guys offer through the Best year? Part. Okay, yeah. So we have a variety and we're getting ready to meet to start looking at the music. Whereas we do six. So we try to do a different type of sound for each concert. So um, starting out maybe with uh, bluegrass, we delve into jazz music, rock music, yeah. pop music. So we really want to try to do a variety between national acts, regional, and also um, lifting up our local musicians too. So we try to do a variety between the three of those. That's perfect. Talk yeah. about your passion for this. Why Why did you choose this particular uh, venture that you did, this position? Talk about the importance of these concerts for your community. Absolutely. So for me, I, I'm loving the new job. Um, I feel like our we have a beautiful downtown. It really is the essence of what is important to our city. It, it is our character. Um, it's who we are. It's our story. It's our history. So for me, that that that's where I'm most passionate. We have amazing businesses that that support our downtown and and offer that charming aesthetics to downtown. Um, and I feel like these events, they do three things. Uh, one, they are offering things to do for visitors when they come in that are coming in to see our downtown to have a concert for them to go to is a wonderful experience. Two, it offers quality of life for our community. Um, and that that's important. These are the events that build community. This is what community is about. You go to the concert series to see your neighbor and your friends and you catch up. And so um, that's just really great to see. Everybody remembers the concert series has been going on for 15 years now. So it means something to, to our, our residents here. And then three, it's a huge economic driver for our downtown. These six concerts are what, you know, keep our businesses keep the doors open and the lights on. And that's a big driver for them. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, you don't have to tell me, I mean, I, it's, it's what I do. For, <laughs> it's it's what I do for, a, it's what I do for a living. And I just, I, you get to see the impact of, of music. Mm -hmm. It has not only on the individual, but also the community um, and, and the group as a whole. So that is, that is vitally important. Okay. A couple, couple of fun questions. And this is just, okay. this is just, this is just for me because I'm in I'm in live music live. Music. I like to survey the nation and get opinions. I want to know I want to know Susie on your birthday today. What is the okay. best concert you've ever been to in your entire life? Oh my gosh, what a wonderful question. Um, and it sometimes it's the venue, right? It's like mm -hmm. the music was good, but the venue is amazing, and that always like adds to it. Um, man. Um, so Tom Petty, I've seen him live a few times, and that that was an amazing show. Um, I've seen Tyler Childers, up and coming um, country music um, star, and um, he's great. He's actually going to be singing at the. We're getting ready to have our inauguration next week, great, and he'll be performing there here right. in downtown. Um, uh, I've seen the Police. Um, that was a good show. I just saw Duran Duran. So I, it, I guess there's so many different varieties of music. It's hard to pick my favorite, but those are the ones that come to mind. Man, can I just stereotype you for a little bit? Like typical female, you just ask for one answer and they give you like seven. <laughs> Like, where do you want to go to eat tonight, honey? No, I don't know. True. We can go here. I'm so it's teasing true. you. Okay, but listen, this okay. one's dead serious. It is okay. your birthday. You get okay. a birthday present, and that birthday present is like the most magical birthday present ever. You get to see one artist or band, okay, dead, dead or alive, mm -hmm. that, that you've never seen before, that you've always wanted to see. 
Who's in that birthday card? Dolly Parton. Oh, well, that was easy. But she's... <laughs> Because I've thought about this. Yes, <laughs> Dolly Parton, to see a legend like that. I love her. Um, and you know what? I know, typical uh, female answer. And I'm going to go back to the other question that you just asked. Because it was so hard to pick one. But I will say, the best concert I've ever been, I can tell you, was Brandy Carlisle. And it was last summer in Nashville, Ooh. Tennessee. All and right, that, is, that, right. that was the best one. But yes, Dolly Fair Parton. Enough. Now, let's talk about Dolly for a minute here. Like, what is up with her? She's... I just saw her. We just saw her on Thanksgiving Day at the Cowboys game. And then I just saw that she was at Tennessee for their football game. Like she's performing again, like out of nowhere and and not just one offs. Like she's really starting to perform consistently. It's crazy. I don't know if I don't, I don't know. Maybe she just and, and she looks amazing, too, for her age. <laughs> Get it, girl. I had to <laughs> I had to Google it because I was like, OK. Listen, if you saw her from, from the waist up, she looks 40-ish, 50 uh -huh. Now, her legs are, are little old lady legs, which is okay. fun. You know, it's yeah. all good. Yeah. But so I was like, okay, how much work has Dolly really had done? And, um, you know, I it just was, it was interesting for me to research that just because it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's, it's funny. It's funny, but it's really, I'm glad. She's such a, I saw a post, this is so off topic, but uh -huh. I saw a post of all the money that she gives to libraries, mm -hmm. you know, and, oh, and things yes. like that. And yes. it was, it was a critical post against Elon Musk for investing uh -huh. so much in space. But my thought was, wait a minute, if everybody poured their money into the library system, we'd have a bunch of books that probably in 20 years aren't going to be touched. And there's a perfect balance for everybody out there, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm glad that she has chosen her path to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that Elon Musk has chosen his path to do that. Nothing but good is going to come out of all of that. And, right, and right. really that that attitude of philanthropy um, is exemplified in Dolly and really for a lot of people has started it. I think in the Hollywood mm -hmm. and music spectrum, um, she really started that and, and revitalized that as it goes through mm -hmm. there. So, yeah, I, I think agree. Dolly's great. Yeah. Um, she's I would very agree. articulate. Authenticity. Yes. Her, her interviews are, are funny. Like if she needs to be uh -huh. funny, it's funny. If she needs to have a sincere moment, she's sincere. It's um, she's very well. She's very well spoken, put together um, as a complete person. In, uh, in the public eye, for sure. So yeah, I don't know what absolutely. it's like being married to her. I, I read that when I was reading all that, I was reading how she goes to bed with makeup um, on. Uh -huh. If there's ever a fire, she's yeah. not going to be caught. She's so, ready. Without makeup. That's great. That's funny. She's ready. Mm -hmm. it's Susie, authenticity what are you doing tonight for your birthday? Um. Yes. So I am after work meeting with some girlfriends for a after work cocktail. And then I'm heading to yoga. And then my there you go. and my son have cooked me dinner. So Oh man, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Well, we we want to see like a selfie posted from 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 you and your friends out at cocktail hour. Okay. Post a selfie for us. I appreciate you, Susie. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Well, baby, I'm on